Hi everyone, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and in today's Vlogmas I'm going to be doing another infused gin. This time I'm going to be infusing it with some citrusy fruits. The fruits I'm going to use today are orange and lemon. I'm just going to keep it really really simple. I've been going backwards and forwards over flavour combinations for this and I couldn't really settle on anything. I knew I wanted the flavour for this one to be mostly orange but couldn't decide on anything to go with it. So I thought, just keep it simple and put in a little bit of lemon. This time, I'm not gonna juice it, I'm not going to zest it. I'm just cutting up the orange and sticking the whole thing in. Hoping this will, what did I do there? I did halves there, and that'll do. Doesn't matter if you halve or quarter them. So this is just one normal orange. And I'm not going to use the whole lemon. I'm only going to use half the lemon. And I'm going to use that half because it looks like there's seeds in the other half. Oh, this, there you go. Just quartering that. I don't want the lemon to be, to overpower the orange. So that's why I've only chosen to use half a lemon today. This jar has been sterilized. Now I'm just gonna add in this gin. I've, it's 35 centiliters of gin. And I'm thinking I might, might have put in too much fruit. So I'll push it down a bit. There we go, let's get it all covered. Oop. There we go, that's a bit better. I am going to add just one teaspoon of granulated sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. I'm really hoping that the orange, no, I'm really hoping that the lemon doesn't overpower the orange. But there we go. Now this jar has been sterilized and now that's it. That can now sit in my cupboard for the next few weeks and slowly infuse and it'll be ready in time for Christmas. And here we have it. And uh, this will just sit in my cupboard for the next couple of weeks until Christmas. Uh, I really, and I will shake it up every now and then, make sure I've tip it upside down, make sure everything's getting a good mix, make sure there's no mold growing or anything on there. But uh, yeah, this will be ready for Christmas. And I actually really like how it looks in this. I will decant it and put it back in this bottle but I think this looks really pretty how it is, to be honest with you. And uh, there's no time limit on how long you should leave this for. The longer you leave it, the stronger the flavors will be. And I'm, so I'm gonna leave it for a couple of weeks. Hopefully the flavors will be nice and strong then. I don't actually like gin, so when I, when I decant this, it will taste revolting to me regardless because I don't like gin. But the recipient of this likes gin, so. Uh, Fingers crossed they'll like this too. Um, I hope this has given you a good I an idea for uh, a Chris Christmas gift for someone or gift for yourself. You can mix and match flavors to whatever you really, whatever you like. I mean, the recipient of this likes citrus fruits. So I made an orange and lemon one. Uh, if I was making one for myself, I wouldn't use gin for starters. I'd probably use rum and I would use I, I could possibly go with sort of raspberries and strawberries as I really like berries or I would go with cinnamon and other spices because I love spices. <laughs> I love all the, the cinnamon, uh, ginger, nutmeg, all those sorts of spices so I might go for those as well. And obviously this is only if you and the recipient are over the legal drinking age in your country. I'm in the UK and the legal drinking age is 18 here. So we are both definitely over the legal drinking age. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Have you ever made infused uh, um, spirits before? If you have, what flavors did you do? I'm really curious to see uh, other flavor combinations. When I was looking up recipes for these and ideas, I came across uh, bacon infused, what was it bacon infused vodka? I thought, oh, that's a bit strange. But uh, I'm not sure if I'd make that myself, but uh, I wouldn't mind trying some. <laughs> Sounds very weird. But you know, if that's what you like, go for it. Um, 
and tune in tomorrow for another episode of Vlogmas. Thank you for watching.